welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Burbank, California, here for the Rated Over Pay-Per-View. Oh, yes. Oh, it's going to be good. Today we have for you the greatest tag team tournament you've ever seen. A historic event. Oh, yes. We're, we got eight different teams coming up to get this title. Yes, a title that was stripped from the top two dads mm -hmm. who had won it under questionable circumstances yes. from the Brothers of Creation. Uh, first up, we have our champions going yes. for that double title. Those young boys, some of the youngest in our roster. Some say greedy boys. Yes. Both of them being our other GWO champions. Uh, the GWO Galactic Champion, of course, uh, James Trotter. And our GWO Hardcore Champion, our little boy, Big Baby Glenn. Yes. yes, and look at them coming up to the ring with that that suave attitude, that je ne sais quoi, just really showing off those belts, showing everybody that they're the big stuff in this tournament. They're gonna, they're, they're you know, they have both both of those big old um, titles, yes. and they're gonna go for tag team titles. They're the, our youngest champions, so definitely some of deserve. The youngest, anyway. Yes, some of the youngest. some of the youngest, as as you'll see very soon. Here they are showing off their stuff to the audience. Big baby, look at him bending he's the rope. Politeness. Yeah, he's opening that rope. Those jammers. His mother really does work hard exactly. to bring up a good baby boy. All right, he's ten months old now, mm -hmm. and already a GWO champion. Exactly, she's so, so proud. proud of him. So proud. I would be too. Mm, look at those muscles on that baby. He's really he's been hitting the baby gym, lifting those blocks. Just really. Uh, working on the on the tone he still got some of that baby fat yeah you notice that? <laughs> yes the good thing but, it, it, but it helps to sculpt yes and the great thing about that is that that brown fat actually um melts off quite easily <laughs> yes and then here we have our superstars now we decided uh, as you know um we've been trying to breed the the best the perfect wrestler and uh we haven't been successful yet um we've gone through about nine different iterations of our wrestler, but today we decided to do something a little different and try to create the greatest tag team. Mm -hmm. Superstars, number 10 and 11. Yes, so we'll see if, if they can take it all in this tournament. We'll see exactly um, what they're going to do. They are the youngest now. They are, exactly. They're, they're, they're less, one, than, less one than a month. month. Less than a month. So just fresh out of those tanks, ready to wrestle some boys. Here we go. And I would like to mention that this is a elimination tornado tag. So the first fall will not mean the end of the match. Mm -hmm, exactly. There will still be one participant left to go. They'll have to. They'll have to also have that one either. You know, either tap or to pin them. Right. Correct. Correct. Um, also, uh, there will be um, disqualifications. Oh yes, because so, uh, well, of course, because Big Mama. Yes. She she uh, doesn't want her baby boy to get hurt. So we have to. Uh, you know, keep those disqualifications just for the mama's sake. She doesn't want her baby boy to get hurt, but you know, it's it's fine because them's the rules. Them's the rules. Them's the rules. Even though he is our hardcore champion, um, he's still got those rules. Ooh. Power, uh, power slam right there in the ground. I would say for for Big Mama, is she a better mother or man? Ooh. See that that's a, that's a good point because uh, I, I think I think as a as a manager you know you should let your your wrestler do what they want but then again he is a baby he can't talk yet so we don't know what he wants so it, it's up it's up for debate you know I'm not here to uh, to criticize anyone's mothering abilities but you never know what the baby wants sometimes he'll cry for no goddamn reason <laughs> and he he, he, just, he he bites on the belt and you tell him no. And he still does it. He's teething. He's, yes. He's Ten teething. Ten months old, I think he's teething. Yes. As you can see, superstar number 10 on the second rope? 11? Not sure. Maybe we should have tried to differentiate them a little bit. I, I like them as this. It, I, yeah, it, exact it, twins. It is good, but you don't know which one's which. But I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter. That means the ref doesn't know Ooh. which one is which. Exactly. Maybe you could do a little switcheroo there. Yep. Just to say, oh, he, I didn't get pinned. No, sir, not me. Ooh, that's twin magic for you. Exactly. That's twin sanity for you. Oh, and they will be coming up in a battle 
uh, later on this yeah, season. Yeah, pretty soon. In a few matches. Ooh, just those superstars hitting. Oh, goes for a double pins. pins. Oh, and here he goes tapping. One, two, nope. Didn't get those pins. Didn't get either of them, but uh, they're trying. They're trying. I mean, doing give it pretty up to good. Them. Yeah, doing Let's pretty good. Let's hear it for good. the boys. Let's hear it for those boys. They're back in town. Ooh, slamming him right on his back right there. He's hurting uh, that fresh newborn back. Um, do you think that Big Baby Glenn, uh, he wants to um, he wants to be the baby? He, he Maybe he's feeling some of that, you know, when um, when your parents have a new child and you don't get as much attention as uh, as you used to. Do you think he's, he's feeling that with these um, less than a month old twins? Do you think he wants to crush them so he gets them more of the attention? Uh, I can see that being true, but I think, I don't know, of course, he does have the mind of a baby. Exactly. So he might not be cognitive enough to understand mm -hmm. that these are our children. He's not our child. So. Yes, so, but uh, who knows? I mean, we, we still don't know who the father is. Still up for speculation, so. Oh, we did create an ultimate. Yes. Ultimate. Ultimate. Yes. Mm, not genetic. Yes, of course, because I'm all, not that tall. Everyone in the the entire universe is our children. Yes. Because we are the gods of this world. Correct. Oh, kick in the back of James right there. Just you know, I mean, he's a skinny boy, so that that's gonna go right to the bones. That's gonna go right to those brittle British bones. Mm. Well, hopefully he could slip out of his competition. Oh, yes, that peach juice, slick. Slippery, viscous, is it? Who knows? And you see Jeffrey just kind of hanging on the ropes there, just kind of chilling. Our referee, Jeffrey. Well, he needs to keep his distance because there's yes. four people in the <laughs> ring at once. And he's, one of them is a gigantic baby. Yeah, he's going to get smacked. Oh, look at, at some Superstar point just kind of hanging out. Okay, there we go. Going on the top rope and then just getting down. Well, uh, uh, James then, Trotter actually placed him there. Oh, okay. He did something interesting there where he tried to attack James Trotter, but it seemed that he just kind of fell. Oh, no. Ooh, James oh. Trotter. Oh. Going for that butterfly suplex. Ooh, landing in New York. Right in the middle of the ring. Is he going to go for the pin? Yes, he is. This Here could we go. It. This could be the end. Oh, oh. Not the end. Our superstars are resilient. They are ready to fight. They have the energy in them. They have youth. Yes, they True have true youth. That youthful energy that's pumped straight into them from our tanks in the back. And we get them all pumped up with that. Who's bleeding? Ooh, ooh. Is for his aunts bleeding? and for that rhino. Look at James going all oh my out. Oh gosh. This is the end. This, this is that's the end gotta of this be the end for superstar. Is someone bleeding? Where? Oh, this is getting. Ooh, Jeez. no. Winf Went to break up the, the three count. Yeah. And actually knocked down his opponent as well. Ooh, James taking out James down. Trotter. Oh my gosh, he's going for he's it. Taking, I think he's going for the DDT. He's taking revenge on James Trotter. Here he goes. Oh no, he's going to give him a Ooh, Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow. Look at that. Then Big Baby Glenn just kind of tripping in the corner. Obviously, still doesn't quite have a grasp of walking yet. Um, no, very. But you can't blame him. Exactly. He's 10 months old, so. You, you got to give him credit. He is a professional wrestler. I think technically he still doesn't have knees. Like yes, kneecaps. he's still developing the kneecaps. He's got that uh, gelatinous kind of, um, you know, uh, what uh, you know, the cartilage in there. Yeah. Hasn't developed any strong bones yet. He's got to drink that milk. Is he really superstar? Number ten? No. Yeah. No, I think just he's still gloating. That's kind of. Yeah, he, he's a little. Again. He's a little show offy. You know, getting out of the ring. To, oh, he tried to grab James, but that he's might that have slippery. Been, that was, I think, a bit of a mistake. <laughs> yeah, slippery Could Peach have Boy. Had potentially a fall <laughs> on Big Baby Ooh, Glenn. Hitting the elbow on Big Baby Glenn, just really taking it to him. I think that's going to be the key for the superstars. Hitting the elbows, hitting the joints on the baby. Well, specifically going after Big Baby Glenn, he's giant. Yes. If you could take him out, James Trotter. Yeah, James has scooted by in, in this. He in has so smarts, far. but. He can't take on exactly. two people at once. He's, he's, got, he's all the mind games, but none of the, you know, muscle games. Right, right. And that's why he has big baby Glenn. Exactly. Him. And, and you know, sometimes with, with those, the mind games, it doesn't really work on these superstars. They are so young that they barely even have minds. Um, as you saw from um, our previous superstar, uh, the mind games did work on him. Um, because he did get eliminated by James for the, the Galactic Championship by kind of messing with his head a little bit. And it's genius moves. Yes. 
Truly, he definitely went to a private school. Oh yes, of course, a, a nice British upper class school. Um, look at him going into the corner with the superstar over there, and then kind of just moving him around a little bit like I a dead body. I think he's going to land in New York again. Oh yes, here he goes. Oh, he's setting up for that landing in New York, right on the right in the Big Apple. Another Falcon Arrow over there. Superstar, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's hitting getting... those. Oh, going for the... Oh, oh my. There's a lot <laughs> happening here. The There's rest. a lot happening. Big Baby Glenn is out. Oh, out. Big Baby Glenn is out, and look at that. Oh, my gosh. Slamming his head into the mat right uh -oh, there. Oh, here's for that rhino. Oh, here it is. But ca can the other superstar break this up? Can he this is, this save his brother? This is where the, the numbers games come into exactly. play. He broke up. That, that finisher of his. That to, oh, devastating look, finisher. Superstar number 10 bleeding from the head right there. Ooh, but he's not giving up anytime soon. Whipping him into the corner. I would like to to make a note to our audience. This is a one night tournament. Yes. It's These, all happening tonight. Whoever wins will have won three matches in a row. Exactly. All of them intense. All of them tag team. No breaks. I mean, they'll get breaks by watching the other matches, but we're not giving them, you know, rests. We're not. Yeah, but one, once this, the, the last semi follow happens yeah. there's no rest for that one exactly they're going straight into a finals match so these people will be bloodied they'll be bruised they'll be broken but uh we'll see who comes out on top in the end again whipping him into the corner we got other superstar over here we have the makings Ooh, of going a true for it. gwo champion right here. yes i mean J james really in this in this sticking in this match really showing why he is the galactic champion resiliency and um just never give up exactly and that's what we look for in our team that's that british attitude right there Ooh, setting him up throwing that arm into the mat uh interesting attack there <laughs> picking him up Ooh, ooh, breaking ooh. him yes just is he gonna make him tap Ooh, just smashing him just folding him up like a piece of paper oh yes, tapped did. oh the superstars Advance. Congratulations! You beat two champions. Super yes, Stars. you will not be killed. Amazing, either. amazing. Well, let's see some of those highlights right here. Look at that! Picking up a gigantic baby. I'm proud our of big, Our biggest competitor in the roster. Ooh, amazing! I'm I'm so excited that they are going forward in this in this tag team tournament. As am I. Huh? We might have we might have the makings of some true champions here. Look at those. Ooh, and then, yeah, J James just doing a lot of his, his signature moves in this match. But He was trying. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for these boys. I, I really feel that was big babies. Yes, exactly. He might have he he had some issues. He was selfish in the, in the match. Ooh, look at that. But this is what happens when you create two superstars who can truly work together. Exactly. And, well, we'll be right back here in Burbank, California for the Rated Over Pay-Per-View. Welcome back to the Rated Over Pay-Per-View Tag Team Tournament. Yeah, we're coming to you from Burbank, California. Beautiful, 1995. Beautiful. Weather's gorgeous today. Mm -hmm. Yes, as as uh, as you know, th this is 1995 in Burbank, California, um, because we have control over not only where our wrestlers are in space, but also where they are in time. So this tournament is being brought to you straight from 1995. Yes, and presented by those cups you used to get when you were a kid. Yes, those uh, those beautiful cups. You you know them and you love them. But, uh, you know, it might get a little confusing seeing as how some of these pay-per-views are taking place, you know, in the past, in the future, on different planets, things like that. Just however you're watching them, that's the chronological order they're in. Don't worry too just much enjoy. about it. Just yeah. enjoy. Just enjoy. Just really watch these beautiful men wrestle. And w what a match we have here. Oh, yes. Second uh, quarterfinal of the <clears throat> night. It is the servicemen 
versus top two dads. Yes. Now, top two dads were the champions before this tournament. Yeah, but, but there was a little bit of a, you know, some sticky situations. Right. And they were actually stripped of the title. Mm-hmm. Um, it was because they had annoyed the commissioner with all of their dad jokes. Yeah. And it's something that I understand because at one point I did go um, and we rent cars, of uh, course, from to place to place. Them. Yes. We, we, we have all day every week. And we had rented a car together to split the costs, and we were driving together, and I had fallen asleep because it was a long drive. Yes. Well, as I woke up, I said, where are we right now? I'm hungry. And in unison, they said, hi, hungry. I'm dead. And that was, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, as it were. Yes. And so they were stripped of their titles, and hence we have this tag team tournament here tonight. And then here we are, we have a serviceman now, Kenneth, coming back from uh, his, his time overseas um, and, and over over planets. You yes. know, he's been all around, um, but he's back trying to help out his, his fellow serviceman, Lewis Carpenter. He had been uh, learning the Luchador system. Yes. Um, as well as the Glormac uh, system uh, Glormac. of wrestling. And we'll see how that has changed, how he, how he wrestles as a person, as a human being. And see if he can help Lewis Carpenter, who's actually down on his luck at this point. Yes, I mean, he obviously, you saw in our first pay-per-view, had the Galactic Championship. And he was stripped away from him by Juicy James Trotter, as you, uh, who you saw earlier today. Yes, uh, in a triple threat match against uh, the predecessor to yes, the Superstar. Yes, exactly. Superstar number Superstar. nine. And then he, he lost that, but then he, he gained the, the Hardcore Championship from you, actually. Yes, and that one uh, came from a... Um, outside interference, the Brothers yes. of Creation, they were able to help out Lewis Carpenter in that mm-hmm. situation. I held no grudge against Lewis Carpenter. It's not his fault. Yes. He um, took it. I mean, it, it, that is the, the rules of the Hardcore Championship. No disqualifications. Anything I understood goes. that. I understood that going in. But then, the next pay-per-view, he had that title stripped away from him as well from another person from the previous match, Big Baby Glenn Davis. Big Baby Glenn Davis the youngest GWO hardcore champion. Exactly. And so Lewis Carpenter, he is broken. He is defeated. He's been stripped of any title that he's held. And so this is, this tournament's really his last hope. I, and I'm pulling for him. Yes. He's a good guy. Oh, he is. He, he, he's a genuine man, and I, I really hope he succeeds in this tactics. He, he is a burly. He's a strong man. I believe in him. I think he can go the distance in this. And like, I, like his name um, portrays him, he is a carpenter. Yes. So you're working with wood, got those calluses on the hands. He knows his stuff. He knows um, what he needs to do to get the job done. Yes, and uh, I would like to say, you know, um, also based on the fact that he is Lewis Carpenter, we like to thank the Burbank High School oh, yes. Theater Department. As you can see, our steel steps are not steel this day. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. Uh, they, crafted out of wood, yeah, from the from the, the stage crew, theater department, theater teacher, stage crew teacher. They all pitched in, helped out to build these beautiful wooden steps. And they're gorgeous. They're great, and they work perfectly. Um, I will say that I think Lewis Carpenter watched them for a little bit, and yeah. he shed a tear. Yeah, he, he knew he... He, he knows the beauty in the world now. That that there's you know this much talent in these young minds. And he's hopeful for the future, as am I. Mm-hmm. And then as we see uh, the top two dads here, um, obviously they, they've been together in this tag team for a while. But but many don't know their origins when they met uh, when they first joined the GWO. Oh yes. Yes, they were they were both the number one dad. They both had the number one dad mugs, nice number one dad T-shirts. But that's where the problem started. Yeah, they bumped into each other, and they uh, you know, they didn't believe the other one. They knew in their heart of hearts that, that they were the number one dad. So they, they had a little feud. Yes, and they actually had a best out of 24. Yes, 24. Which doesn't make sense. Yeah, because it evens out to 12 matches. Right. So. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, they tied. And so at that point, they realized they'll never know who the true number one dad is, so they might as well team up and be the top two dads. So they don't know who is actually the number one dad. Yeah, but, but um, you know, they, they we might find out at some point. But for now, they're just the top two dads. Top two dads. They, they work well together. Yes. All right, and then as you see, he was just slamming his head right into the mat right there, right into the apron. I'd like to point out at this point that David mm-hmm. is a former oh, amateur yes. 
wrestler. Yeah, in high school, uh, yes. he, he wrestled. And so as you saw from his, his entrance, he was wearing his old wrestling uniform. Uh, doesn't quite fit like it used to, but you know David insists that it does. Right, of course. <laughs> you can't talk him out of that. Exactly. He's 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 steadfast with that uniform. Um, but yeah, this uh, this you know um, this tournament and this pay per view is probably bringing back a lot of memories for him. Obviously, in the the Burbank High School gymnasium is where we are broadcasting from. So you know the smells, the sights, the sensations of the school gym really bringing back those. Uh, high school wrestling memories for him. And that might come into play during this match. Oh, we, yes. we don't know. It might, it might revitalize him, give him a new, you know, a second wind, if you will. And then, of course, we have John over there getting his ass whooped on the outside. <laughs> yes, it's just really... Kenneth really giving it to John in the, just right in those, uh, those barricades. Oh, Lewis Carpenter reaching for something under the... Oh, going oh, for a chair. This is an Extreme Rules Tornado Tag Match, yes. so anything can go. No disqualification on this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it looks like Kenneth's also going for something as well. I like how they always have to get rid of the evidence. For yeah. Some oh, Kenneth oh, going, going for his signature. Oh, weapon. you know it. You know he's a firefighter. He has experience with ladders, and but it looks like he it, didn't get the chance no, to use yeah. it. But it's there. Mm -hmm. John took took that opportunity and tossed it in the trash. He tossed it right in the the fire pit. Or he's gonna cook a nice burger. Over. That's what I was about to say. John, on his in his spare time, is actually a pit master. Yeah, exactly. He's a little bit of a chef, a little bit of a pit master. So he knows not only how to, you know. Oh, oh, oh boy! The servicemen taking an early victory there in this match, which is gonna do dividends. Oh yes, because as as you know, we are not taking any breaks in this tournament. No one gets breaks. So a one night tournament. They need to save as much energy exactly. as they can, and that was the perfect way to do it. So those superstars, they were they were uh, bent and broken after that match, but these servicemen, they're looking pretty good. Yes. So that might be an interesting match coming up in the uh, semifinals. But here we are, We've got those servicemen. Oh, I could see. I didn't. Even, I missed that. Mm -hmm. Thornail slam. Yeah, the servicemen advancing in this tournament. Maybe they'll take it. Maybe Lewis Carpenter. This will be his redemption. Maybe. And I hope it is. Yes. I'm rooting for them. And we'll be right back here in Burbank, California for the Rated Over Paper View. To the second half of our tag team tournament for the GWO yeah, second tag half, team champion. Yeah, second half of the quarterfinals. That's correct. Sorry, sorry, and, sorry. Oh yeah, of course. Second half of the quarterfinals. Yes, and, and as you can see here, we have the Mario Brothers versus Twin Sanity. It's gonna be insane. Yes, and the uh, bo uh, both of these teams, you know, high energy, high flyers, jumping running all around the ring. This is going to be a high energy high energy match. And the thing is is that these people's sizes uh, some of them are small. Mm -hmm. But Mario, he's actually Yeah, he's a, he's a bulky he's a bulky he's, man. He's a big boy. Yeah. And uh so uh, you know, Twin Sanity obviously they're from uh, an alternate dimension, traveled here um from an alternate dimension. Mario Brothers uh, as well traveled from an alternate dimension through a pipe though. Yeah, it came through a pipe. Uh, they claim to be plumbers from New York City, so I guess they might just be from a Another alternate dimension that also has a New York City. Yes, and it could be very different. It could also be very similar. Yes, we're not quite sure. We haven't asked them too much about it because they're, uh, they're, they're new boys. Yeah, and then they're they're, they're a little touchy on it. They're they're in a new uh, a new place in a new time. They're still trying to get acclimated to the the rules of this dimension. I think I kind of insulted them when <laughs> uh, we were filling out the forms for their employment, mm -hmm. and I asked uh, for their uh, last name and. They said Mario, yeah. and then I asked him for his first name, and he said Mario, and I thought uh, it, it just got confusing. Uh -huh. I was just like, wait. And so you were like, are you sure? I was like, so you just like just want Mario. Like, it's just your <laughs> one word. And no, he's like, like no. no. It's Mario, Mario. It took, <laughs> it was the who's on first. It, oh, it was. Oh, boy. But uh, and, then, and then when you got to Luigi, you asked him, oh, your first name is Luigi. Okay, and last name? Mario. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite interesting. I'm taking your brother's yeah. last name. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's how you do it, but... <laughs> Ooh, zooming in right there. Interesting what, what camera there? work going on. 
And here they are, yes, the Mario Brothers. I actually think her cameraman was just kind of <laughs> messing around, around, around yeah. Right Being a little, uh, 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 you know, person who has a, doesn't have a job anymore. <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> Look at them, pumping up the crowd, really showing off their swagger here. You know, I feel like these guys could fit right in. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, plumbers, they're, they're servicemen. They got the pockets. They do. They have those tools. Um, obviously, you can't use those tools in a tornado tag match, but, um, in, you know, you never know what they what they might pull, those tricks that they might pull. Well, they won't be able to use a tornado tag match. But this is a tag Oh, exactly, yeah, so. This is going to be a little more straightforward. Mm -hmm. But still, no qualification. Yes. Um, right, and then, and, then, and then these, uh, whoever wins this match will be advancing into uh, the semifinals of the tag team tournament. Obviously, we're gonna be switching up the uh, the rules, um, you know, per each match, you know, just to really give a, a good um, mix of Make different fun. experiences. Yeah, exactly. You don't you don't want to just have a bunch of different of the same matches over and over again. You gotta spice things up a little bit. Toss a little salt and pepper, paprika, thyme, oregano, ooh, cayenne. Maybe grind up a little ghost pepper. Toss that in a little bit of, a little bit of that Old Bay seasoning. Dang. And then three bay leaves. Oh, well, what about uh, have a adobo? Ooh, adobo. Mm. Maybe replace a little bit of that ghost pepper with some adobo. But here we are. Twin Sanity right here. You guys know them. We yeah. know them. You love them. They're pumping up the crowd. They, they, these guys, Crash Bandicoot right here, Chris Crash Bandicoot, he is a high energy fellow. Now they did fail to win the titles from the Brothers of Invasion, but really almost everyone did. Yes, of course. Until they lost it. To yeah, us stripping it up. But, um, but they're, they're here to show their, um, you know, th their power their status in the GWO. They're trying to take that um, that tag team belt, those belts that they had an opportunity to get. And I, so, think, I think they're a good team. I think they have a good dynamic. Now, I don't know much about the Mario Brothers, so, mm -hmm. you know, that, that will come out during this match. But yes. from what I've seen between uh, Chris Bandicoot and Neo, mm -hmm. They work well. One is, yes. of course, energetic. The other one's more of a thinker. You need both. Yeah, exactly. Fills you need gaps. you need that you need that um that dynamic there. The Mario Brothers they seem, you know, kind of all brawn at this point. But you know, you never know. We yeah. might we might see a little bit of intelligence peeking out of the corner. And we we will see some speed now. I have watched Mario and Luigi work out. Oh yes. And I must say the height that they get. Oh, those jumps, those high jumps. Now Luigi can jump a little bit higher. <laughs> yes. But Mario just all around, it, like based on his size and everything. Yeah, he's, just he's he's like a flat. He's a powerhouse. Look he's, at that kip up. Yeah. Did amazing. You see that? Knocking Doctor Neo Cortex down to the ground like almost immediately. Ooh, and tagging his brother in. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. This is they've worked together Ooh, Luigi for a long time. Luigi going for the high. What, oh, oh, look what he's doing right here. Bringing Dr. Neo Cortex over to the ropes. What's he going to do? Ooh, spear him straight through the ropes right there. Picking him up by the head. Ooh, reverse that. Dr. Neo Cortex playing the long game. Really Ooh. sizing up his opponent. Ooh, spectacular. Those scissors. Mm -hmm. They cut through everything. This is some interesting tactics that Dr. Neo Cortex has. He... See, what, what he decides to do, you know, Mario Brothers, they're going in whole hog right away, just attacking. But Dr. Neo Cortex, he wants to study his opponent, Not really see their weaknesses. He always focuses. I mean, he yes. always focuses on the head. Yes, exactly. And so as you can see here, I don't smashing know the neck, is. punching the head. It might be that he has a big head. He might have some fed yeah. head fetish. Yeah, exactly. It might be, goes for the head. It might be a complex. Maybe he wants to have the biggest brain in the room, so he must smash all the other brains. Which is fair. Yes. I understand that. You know, for, for a man of science like him, he wants all the intelligence he can get. Ooh. Luigi taking advantage right here. Yes. Chris, back in that corner. Crash Bandicoot just really wanting to get into the ring. Oh, he's got that energy. Yeah, he, he, he Once knows. Once he's in, it's just going to be pandemonium. Yeah, it's go time. Especially with these Mario Brothers. Ooh, right into the chin right there with that knee. Ooh, 
uppercut, really taking it to the chin right here. Maybe Luigi himself is trying to take down this Brainiac. Ooh, pushing Jeffrey into the, into the corner and tagging in his brother. Let's see what they got here. Oh! oh! Man! Just that. that the toadstool stomp. Yeah, ooh. Oh, going for the pin right here, but Chris Bandicoot, he's not Brilliant having any move. of that. That was the move that they were practicing when I saw them. Yes. That, did you see that height? High flying. So amazing. Going for his Ooh. dick. <laughs> really grabbing, grabbing the groin, torquing that. Mm. He will play dirty. Yes. That's what we've learned from him. He will play dirty. He's going he's, he's gonna to knock around that mushroom as much as he can. <laughs> oh, oh! Right to the face. Dr. Neocortex not having any of that. Showing his own. Yes, height. exactly. Not only does he have a big brain, but he's got a big height advantage in that jump. <laughs> Although he's a lot shorter. Yes. Ooh, and reversing that, pushing him out of the way. Oh, an absolute back and forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, and using Amazing. the same his move own that move. He yes. Luigi. Disrespecting him, showing him that he's the better man. Oh, Finally! Here he comes, Crash Bandicoot coming into oh, the ring. The fear in Mario's <laughs> yes, eyes. Going straight for the tag. He's like, I'm not dealing with this <laughs> yeah, no. madman. He saw Crash in the corner going ape. Just really, ooh, ooh slithering up to his sexy. opponent. Yeah. Trying to maybe seduce Luigi a little bit. Get him to put his guard down so he can so smash his head in. Yes. Luigi lying flat right there. Going in oh, again. <laughs> doing it one more time. Full me once, shape on me. Full me twice, shape on me. Apparently it's Smashing working. Smashing the head again. Luigi is not having a good night. He is very close to Mario. He could tag Mario in, but it looks like he is just going to reverse it and he's got his energy back. Going to smash Crash right into the map. Oh, and there we go. He goes for the tag. His head's hurting a lot. Now that that crashes down, Mario more than willing to come in. Yes. <laughs> but already has made a mistake. Yeah, he's uppercut right there. Mario falling to the ground. Oh, Ooh. stomping on his shoulders. That foot stomp. Yes. A lot of stomping, a lot of jumping in this match. Ooh, and then tagging Dr. Neocortex and setting him up. Jumping right on the neck, straight for the pinpoint. As we mentioned earlier, Dr. Neocortex really this focusing the on the head. Luigi coming in. Can he make it? Nope. He makes it. Makes Rass. it just in time. Chris. Chris. Sorry. He, he, he was there. Yeah. But he wasn't there. Almost made it. Jeffrey uh, telling Crash to get out of that ring. Dr. Neocortex still had, still having the advantage in this match against Mario. Headbutting his chest. Yeah. Trying to wear out this Mario brother. Get him to sweat. Get him to lose all that energy. That way he can really focus on those pinpointed areas. Stomping on the stomach. Just absolutely stomping. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like they're going to break his stomach. Yes. Trying to break that back, trying to break him in half, fold him into a pancake, and then possibly go for that pin. Whipping Crash into the corner, straight to the chest. Ooh, are they going to go for it? Is he going to go for it? Luigi coming in. Will he have enough time? Oh, kicking out. Was it enough to keep Mario down? No. He'll, right. he'll work without, you know... Functioning lungs. Yes, of course. It, you know, it, it might be that dim whatever dimension they're from, maybe they don't need to breathe. Uh, I've heard stories that he's actually breathed underwater. Oh yeah, so yeah, expert swimmer. Yes. So they might not need air. Yes, and, and, and I have heard tell of them. Ooh, what is Luigi doing here? Just kind of break dancing on his opponent. Uh, but I have heard tell of the Mario Brothers um, even taking to the skies occasionally with their uh, magic capes flying so high there's not a lot of oxygen up there they must have some strong lungs where they're from hmm, that's interesting because uh chris and uh neil mm -hmm. they both also fly in the air yes and and swim yeah occasionally occasionally uh, 
Um, so it, it is interesting the dynamic of these teams. I will note that you know they do need more than a cape. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. They planes and jetpacks. Plane, yeah, and um, di different yeah different airborne equipment as well as, as swimming needs scuba gear, different things like that. Did you see that? Yes, stomping he absolutely him. stomped yeah. his head in. Just stomping the head straight. Oh, Jeffrey not seeing this pin here. Um, not doing his job, I guess. Ooh, Ooh, almost. You know, I think that's Jeffrey's fault. Yeah, that was. I mean, they would have gotten the pin there if Jeffrey was paying attention. I think he was trying to keep... Oh! Ooh. I think he was trying to keep Cortex from coming in. Yes, yeah. He was too distracted by uh, what Cortex... Which is a, a good thing by Cortex. Maybe that was a little bit of those mind games seeping into the match. Neo and Cortex seeing that Crash was vulnerable and trying to distract the referee. I will point to the fact that had Crash been pinned, the match would not be over. Oh, yes, of course. We're still in the elimination attack. Mm -hmm. Whipping Chris into the corner, Oof. getting him down. And then just, ooh, oh, no. Well, he's not He's not having oh. any of that. Tripping him face first into the mat. Are they conferring with each other? I'm not I'm not quite sure. They, yeah, Dr. Neocortex looks like he was whispering in his ear a little bit, telling him what to do. Which makes sense. Yes, Chris is mostly a vessel for him mm -hmm. to. Ooh, look, going for the going for the tag. Mario not interfering, but he knows Luigi's got this. But yes, conferring with each other. A lot of a good teamwork there. Obviously, Crash knows that Doctor Neo Cortex is the brains of the operation, so he he confers with him if they if they ever need to you know, formulate a plan. Really. Ooh. Mm. Also stomping. Yes. He's a stomp just like Chris. Oh, did. Chris bleeding from the head there. Getting a lot of stomps and a lot of face smashes into the mat. These I people are getting battered and bruised. I know exactly when that happened. That happened when his face got yes. stomped into the mat. Oh, vicious. Ooh. Oh, man. What is he going to do? What is he? Oh, he okay. Oh, he's, his face. oh he's going to get that revenge. <laughs> Stomp your face into the mat. How do you like that? Mm, ooh. ooh, bridging pin. Look at that. And then Dr. Neocortex. Oh, okay. A of kick course. out, of course. But Dr. Neocortex is going to try and stop Mario if he was to interfere. Ooh, look at him gloating to the audience. He's bleeding from the head, but still ooh. gloating. Just really destroying Luigi in this match. But Luigi, it looks like he's got a, a nice uh, newfound energy reversing this. Slamming Chris right in the mat. Going for that bleeding head. Mm -hmm. Yes. Trying hoping, to it, hoping to open it up even further. Maybe get some blood in those eyes. Yeah. So he can't see anymore. Wear out his opponent. Get that energy back down. Obviously, we know there's a lot of adrenaline, a lot of energy pumping through uh, Chris right now. But uh, Luigi's trying to sap as much of that away as he can. Great move by Chris Bandicoot, making sure that his brother Mario wouldn't be able to get back yes. into this map. He's going for the pin. Mario sitting on the ropes. Is he going to get it? Oh, oh kick out right at the end there. He trusts his brother mm -hmm. more than I've ever seen <laughs> yes. anyone trust him. They are true brothers. Ooh. Smashing that face again, wanting to get as Ooh, much blood as possible. Yes. Once again, Chris might be out. This might, yeah, this might be not it. Not Crash out. Bandicoot. Oh, oh no, it's not. This match. These folks have energy uh, unbound. It's, it's almost like this is a grudge match. Yes, it is almost as if these people are fighting beyond what they should yeah. be able to fight. Right. Not only for for the the GWO Tag Team Championship, but just for the glory and for the fame and for the recognition. They, they have, th there's something here. There's something that we don't know about, yes. but maybe you at home do. Something something further, some some other sort of animosity between these two teams. Ooh, but that back elbow. Clotheslining him down into the mat. Dragging his lifeless body. Oh, but he's, oh, there we go, going Got for the, the tag. tag. Ooh, both, and, ooh, both tagged in. These these men, they have new energy. Right for his shit. Yes. Luigi and um, and Crash Bandicoot been in the ring for a while. They're worn out, but um, Dr. Neocortex and Mario have it, had a long time to rest. So these guys have newfound energy, and they're ready to fight. Going for that triple headbutt. Mm -hmm. Absolutely destroying Mario. Trying head. to knock out Mario, perhaps. 
Ooh. Oh, oh. Nope. Missed the Rolling kick. away from that. That's that speed. Mm -hmm. I told you. His, he's, he's got the speed. Did you see that? Him yeah, just like it just dropped him and then hit, hit him. him in the back of the head. That's um, you know, that that might be, move. that might be a nice New York strategy. Oh, and oh they look at them going again. This, oh, this is it. That's gotta be Chris it for Doctor Neo floor. Cortex. It's done for for Neo. Luigi back has that energy here. Oh, but no. That's it. Chris, he did even Chris try. coming in. Chris has got a little bit of energy left in him. Let's see if he can take them on. I I don't think he can. I think. I think Chris is worn out, and he's he's bloodied and bruised. Ooh. Breaking his leg! Oh boy, they are going they are going for blood in this match. That's gonna that's gonna take months off of his career. <laughs> that's he's, that he's gonna be gone. That's for a that while. New York attitude. That's the Big Apple. That's that New York sensibility. Look at him, just really showboating, slamming him into the turnbuckle. Oh. Kicking him just to punch goodness, him in the face. Goodness, goodness. And here he goes for another pin. This might be it. Oh. oh. I was going to say good night to him. Yes. But right at the last second, you know, Chris, he, he's got the drive. He knows that he, he can keep going for miles, and he wants to take these tag team belts home. But here they oh, are. I think they're breaking his leg again. Oh, just going for that leg. He is feeling the pain. It is a smart move, but it is crash brutal. Is, crash is just broken at this point, bleeding from the head, almost broken leg at this point, really hurting. This is this is a wrath that we've never seen in the GWO. He's grabbing his dick. I understand <laughs> yes. that. He he has he has this pent up rage inside of him, hurting so much. Look at that blood he pouring no down one his to face. He has no one to turn to. He is by himself. It's, it's become a handicap, man. Yes. But if we know anything about Crash, he can pull it out. He's got the drive. Really bashing Luigi's face in. Absolutely. Wanting to, wanting to give back a little of the medicine that Luigi gave to him. Just doing anything that he can yes. to make it harder for the Mario Brothers. And see, the and Mario Brothers can. really focusing on those key points, focusing on the head, focusing on that that right leg, so they can make sure to really get the pain pinpointed and get the pain where they need it. Because that that, that that's really a smart move in these kind of matches is not to just have an overall attack, but to really focus on those key areas to get your opponent out as fast as possible. Oh. oh, and now Chris Bandicoot using that same move. Yes, whipping him down. Do you think? Do you think? Oh. There, do you think there's a chance that that Crash can take this one? I don't know. I don't know. He's trying. If if anyone could, it's Crash. If anyone could, but I I'm not quite sure he can. But let's see right here for the pin. Oh, oh kicking out gosh. right at the last second. I thought this was gonna be one on one. Yes. Mario, Crash, Luigi, Dr. Neo Cortex, he's out. He's already out. There, there's no there's no hope for him. But maybe there is. If if Crash pulls this one out, Dr. Neo Cortex is back in. Yes, if he's able to pull it out, mm -hmm. Neo Cortex is actually getting some time to rest. Exactly. So he might Well, I don't think that's the best strategy. <laughs> exactly. I think I think in all honesty, Crash would be the good one to get a little bit of rest and a little bit of relaxation. Uh, obviously, Dr. He's Neocortex. He's so high energy. Yeah, he burns so much of it. Exactly. Dr. Uh -oh. Neocortex is a slow. This is the end. Ooh, stomping again right into the mat. Splay, it's just spraying his blood all over. Let's see if he gets this pin. One, two, and... Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. Crash Get Bandicoot here. coming back. Th that's it. He's my dark horse. I think Twin Sanity is going to take this whole tournament. I, I believe in I them. Can't. I can't. Like, he's even, got the drive. He's got the energy. He's being destroyed, though. I don't know if he can continue this. But he's still coming back, even when he's getting put in the tree of woe right here by Luigi. What's he doing here? Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. He's killing he's, him. He's going to kill this man. This We are seeing a stone-cold murder in the ring tonight. And here he goes for another pin. Is he going to take it? Oh, oh my, my god. god. 
Crash will not die. He I, will not die. I think these are electrical impulses yes. going through his body. Dr. Neocortex controlling him <laughs> from backstage. He's actually dead. Yes. Sure. Mario coming in. Mario with his with his energy. But Crash Bandicoot, he is still going for it. Going to the this ropes. This is gloating after getting his ass beat. Oh, he's, what a beautiful man. What a beautiful man. You know, I, I have to say, I respect him. Now. You know a true, a true wrestler when you see it. And Crash Bandicoot, he is the finest of the fine. That frog splash right there, right onto Mario, kicking him for good <laughs> measure. Oh my goodness, that energy, that fire in his heart. It's it must be all those wumpa fruits he's eating. Just giving him. <laughs> look at him go. Stretching a little bit. I heard if he eats ten of them, it gives him special power. <laughs> yes. So. Oh, he's Still, so tired. Yeah, he's just kind of resting, which is a, a good opportunity to rest. He <laughs> just had a flurry. Yes. Oh, look at the flipping, <laughs> amazing, to stomp on the someone. athleticism of this man. And is he gonna? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> this match is spectacular. It's better than spectacular. <laughs> yes. This is one of the best matches I've seen. In my entire existence. This is beautiful. Oh, and look at this! My god! The energy of Crash Bandicoot just is go unstoppable. For the cover, man. Just try. Unstoppable. It's just stomping for good measure, really making sure that every ounce of energy is squeezed out of the Mario Brothers and siphoned back into his own body. Twin Stanley may not win, but Mario Brothers are going to have a tough oh, yes. road ahead they, of them. They are rough at this point. Ooh! Is he going to go for it? He's going for the pin. No, Ooh. kicking out this match is a master class of wrestling technique. Oh, grabbing, grabbing him in the groin. Grabbing his dick as hard as he can. <laughs> yes. He's, try he, you know, he, he's tried everything in his repertoire he can. He just wants to you know, wear this opponent down as much as he can. So grabbing the groin, stomping him, splashing right onto his body. He's going to try it all. He, he's pulling all the stops out. Even a simple kick. Makes him yes. him. Ooh. Mario. Dis still confident. <laughs> Disrespecting his opponent. Oh. Oh, Ooh, that might be it for Chris. Is he going to go for it again? Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Whipping him into the corner. Maybe going for the tag here with Luigi. Oh, oh no. My Chris. Oh, my God. This man. He does not want to go down. And he, I can understand He why. cannot be stopped going for the tag right here. Ooh. Oh, oh, this, oh, is, no, it. this, this is, is it. This is it. Mm, right into the mat. That Cra still stomp. Crash's head is is bru. He definitely has a, a few concussions at this point, and there it is. I'm proud of him. I am so proud. He stuck out for so long, and he really wore those Mario Brothers down. I feel like he was a winner. Yes, I think I think Crash Bandicoot. He knew they weren't gonna take it. He knew they weren't gonna win, but he wanted to wear the Mario Brothers down as much as he can because, you know, he's not only a, a great competitor, but he's a lover of the sport and he loves the GWO, so he wants to make sure that whoever's gonna face the Mario Brothers, he wants them to win because he knows the Mario Brothers are disrespectful and they're out for blood, just really smashing his head, stomping on his knees. So he wants he wants the, the more respected of the wrestlers to win. So he wanted to wear them down as much as possible. Well, congratulations to the Mario Brothers, who will go on to the semi-finals. And just because we only have one more quarter. One, yeah, one more quarterfinal left. So uh, we'll see you guys back for that last quarterfinal match on the GWO Rated Over Pay-Per-View. Welcome back to the final quarter final. Yes, the final quarter final. Yeah, that's of, right. Of the GWO rated <laughs> over tournament. It's, it's it's been a long day here, folks, it and it's still going wrong in my head. It did, yes, but final quarter final. Yes, but here we have um, us, the 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 gods of the GWO, 
going up against the the new and improved brothers of creation. Yes, the new brothers of creation. Now, if our fans will remember mm-hmm. last pay per view, yes, at Slamboree, we had our grudge match for the control of the GWO universe. Yes, and and what happened there um was 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 something um of a of a turn. For Zeus, one of the brothers, it one was of the former brothers of creation. I was yes. surprised. Um, it was a, a ladder match for the control of the GWO universe, and um, I was reaching up to grab the control um, on top of that ladder. Zeus came into the ring, looked up at me, and he knew in his heart of hearts that the GWO doesn't belong to him. This is not his world. Yes, no. So if you go back and watch that pay-per-view, you'll see him get into the ring and stare up at me and just stand there and let me take it. And obviously, Hades didn't like that too oh, much. Oh, it made him pissed. And so Zeus has sp- since splintered from the Brothers of Creation. And Zeus, ha- uh, I mean, uh, sorry, Hades has brought in his other brother, um, Poseidon, <laughs> l- Lord of the Sea, to um, kind of be a, a placeholder for Zeus while Zeus is kind of figuring out where he wants to be within the GWO. And who he is as a king as a, of the gods. Exactly, yes, because how does he truly know he's a god when there's people stronger than him and more deserving of control of the universe than him? Oh, you know what? Fun fact about the Brothers of Creation. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know that their domain was written by a dice game. Oh, yes. They were all equal at one point. Mm-hmm. But due to a dice game, which Zeus won, he became the god of the sky. Yes. And therefore, god of oh. the king. The king. Yes, yeah, the king of gods. Um, second place went to Poseidon, mm-hmm. who chose god who of, of the sea. Of the sea, yes. Because it, it, it's it takes... beautiful. It's nice. It's it, great. Yes. I think it's a great second place. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think I mean, it's better than third place, which was... Underworld. Yeah. Underworld. Which, of course, Hades got. So there might be a bit of a grudge between Hades and Zeus. Yes. And that concern. He, yeah, because he, he got the the, you know, the shortest straw, if you will. Uh, so he, he might have some animosity towards Zeus in that. And then also, of course, angry at him for, for taking the chance, uh, having that chance to get the control of the universe and just taking it away from him while he was at the ring. So there's some bad blood boiling between the two but we see uh, Poseidon stepping in there to really take the reins um, and help out his brother Hades in this tag team turn. Now we haven't seen them work together in GWO so I don't know how well they'll match up to but yes. in a sense this is a grudge match between us. Exactly, yeah. Cause, kind uh, of follow still, up. There still is some sort of um, animosity. Yeah, I'd exactly. Say. Between us and the Brothers of Creation of mostly between us and Hades, who still wants the control of the universe. Um, and Zeus obviously knows that he, they don't deserve it. Here they are. I love Poseidon's breastplate. Yes, it, 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 protect, really protecting him from any blows that he has in the chest. Uh, but obviously, we are gods, so we can do any sort of damage we want to them. Now that's a fire hazard in the school, isn't <laughs> yes. it? I mean, the the wood laminate floors, um, n- not too flammable, but obviously you see there are some um, tapestries hanging, different things. Probably oh, wow. flammable. We paint. are glorious. Oh, look at us. We're beautiful. <clears throat> Just showing off that nice shiny jacket you have. My might nice satchel. We might be mocking our I did. I think we are. And uh, I, as fans of the GWO will know. Um, we are otherworldly beings, so of course we can be announcing the match as well as being in the match using our earthly avatars. Um, so no worries there, we aren't announcing from the ring itself. We can be in any place we choose. Look at that flip. That, that's true friendship. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> we're, we're coming in this, we're not even... We're not even worrying about this. So this is this is no dirt on our shoulders. We're we're coming in showing the folks that you know we don't even care about the future. This is child's play to us. And I'd love my new jacket and shirt combination. Yes, very nice. The shine. Sh- <laughs> yeah, and sh- and showing the the kinship between us with that uh, obviously the staple dragon and then a nice satchel on the shirt. 
showing that we are a tag team. Immediately going for a code breaker yes. right to Poseidon's face. You're, you're showing this newcomer that you mean business. And he's showing it right back. Yeah. He's given he's given that um that that seaworthy punishment to you. And now interesting uh to touch on, um you and Hades have uh, some sort of a uh, of a relationship, a business relationship. Obviously, you want people to burn for their sniz, and he's the one who punishes the sniz. Yes, and um, I have talked to him about it. Yes, it's almost uh, a request because yeah. he doesn't burn all of the sinners for their sniz. Of course, yeah. but but you you want them to burn for their sniz, right? Of course. So. Maybe in the future he will burn all of them for their snows. Yes, but we'll see. Maybe you know we might we might even um, get him on our side that way. You never know. But for now, it's just all bl bad blood there. Did you know that there's one guy that he just makes roll a rock up a hill? Yes. Yeah. Just forever. Forever. And it's uh. And it just rolls down, and then he has to do it again. He must have had some bad sniz. And it doesn't make sense to me because it's like, why don't, why didn't the guy just like fall asleep? And just not do it. That's true. That's a good. One. And that is a good point. You know, he what, could just. You know what? He couldn't it. walk away from though. Burning. Exactly. He'd burn burn forever. for your sniz. But I actually don't remember what that guy's sniz was. So. Exactly. It's, it's it's been so long. Who can tell? Obviously, Hades can. But we're we're wrestling. And look at us all out of the ring. Jeffrey um, just standing in the middle, uh, watching as if he's just a spectator, really enjoying the match. Oh, well, he is. At this point, it's a no disqualification, <laughs> yes. so there's no count out. So all he really needs to do is just count uh, One, two, the pins. Three, yeah. And uh, if someone gets submitted. Yes. Mm, look at that. Taking down this tall man and I, I use tall loosely because it's mostly hair that's what I was gonna say is that he is tall like don't get me wrong he is tall but his hair adds about a foot and yeah. his shoes add about oh, yeah, six inches the, the shoes as well um, but Poseidon he is just a, um, a wide brimmed man really um, broad shoulders he, those swimming shoulders you know the funny thing is that he looks a lot like Zeus so I can understand them being brothers but Hades. Mm -hmm. he, I don't he know got what the, mom did. But. He got the recessive genes, I yes. think, in, in that family. Ooh, and then here, here we are, me in the ring, going for the pin on Poseidon. Am I going to get it? We kick out. I was going to be like, yeah. we are in gold. Oh, man. Ooh, flipping right onto him, but he's getting out of that. Oh, oh, oh we knocked Jeffrey's out Jeffrey. Out. He's out. Oh no, Jeffrey! <laughs> it doesn't even matter because there's no disqualification. Exactly. But still, so, you need to get out of there, Jeffrey. Poseidon gonna? Is he gonna spear me? That's exactly what he's doing. Oh. Spear! It's kind of—he's really big though. Oh, look so. at him dance! <laughs> nice dance there. Did you know that Poseidon actually? Uh, created the, the horses oh really yeah so he's not all about the sea yes well, what mostly about the that sea. is an interesting fact thank you Poseidon for the horses um you see uh you coming into the ring to save me Hades just laying there in pain and agony giving up those uh long horns I guess yes just so the crowd knows where I'm at mm -hmm. whipping Hades back into the ring so you can really give him what for you know, you, you uh, out outside of the ring. Oh, I can... didn't notice. Look at Hades, his face. He's bleeding. Oh, he is bleeding a lot. Did a lot of damage outside the ring. See, that's what you you do outside the ring is really a time to brawl and really do a lot of damage to your opponent. But when you're in the ring, that is where the technique comes out. That is where you really show your your style and your your grace in the ring. Oh. oh! It's us. Great job. We did Good it. job on you, boy. <laughs> you almost broke up that pin there by uh, by slamming Hades down, but we got it just in time. Jeffrey with the count. You know, that's that's his only job in this match, so he did it perfectly. Just, and I'm surprised about Poseidon. He almost had you yeah, he at did. the moment. But... A very formidable opponent. Oh, that's the moment. Yeah, there that we was go. the Ooh, moment. Look at that blood streaming down his head. Amazing right there from Poseidon. Very good technique there. Uh, but it 
was not well, enough. Perfect package. There, I didn't see that. Yeah. Perfect package. And here we go, advancing into the semifinals of this tag team tournament. A spectacular. So we will be back with the first match of the semifinals of the tag team tournament. And it's going to be a doozy. Oh, it's going to be glorious. So come back next after this, these messages or whatever you'll see. I'm not sure what your dimension will have, but just come back and visit us after that here at Rated Over GWO. Welcome back to the first semi-final match of the GWO Tag Team Tournament. Yes, and here we have our superstar, superstar 10 and 11, up against the servicemen, Lewis Carpenter. I'm already proud of our boys. If they lose here, that's totally fine by me. I'm still yes. kind of pulling for the servicemen because, once again, it's, like a, it's almost a Cinderella story. Yes. I don't want to say that, but it kind of is. Yes. Louis, Louis Carpenter has been stripped away of everything he's held dear. And so I, I think I, I want him to take this one because uh, he needs a little bit of, of redemption. And already um, our superstars have proven to me that they yes. are already a step above their predecessor, beating both champions yeah. in a single match. A single match. And, and, and it, it, even a, a tornado tag. So they had to pin both i believe correct uh, yes or, it was elimination, elimination tornado tag yes. elimination exactly yeah. um but um interesting thing to note here is that superstars had took a beating in their match they were uh, bloodied one of them was bleeding yes. very hurt and lewis carpenter and kenneth they came out pretty clean in their match only took you know not even that long so they have had more time to rest and less damage put onto them so It'll be interesting to see the the energy that they both bring, and I'm loving to see that the superstars aren't wary, so wary that they can't enjoy the crowd. Exactly, they they still love celebrate. the crowd. And the crowd still loves them. These clean boys, less yes. than a month old too. Yeah, exactly, and but but still able to defeat both of the champions, which is just spectacular for people of of their age. Now, you might have noticed that this is actually going to be a Hell in a Cell match. Yes. Um, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Usually these are held for the worst of matches. When when a feud goes so long and is so brutal mm -hmm. that they just need a Hell in a Cell. Yeah, exactly. And But th there is a little bit of, of that with Lewis Carpenter and the previous superstar, superstar number nine. There was a little bit of a feud going there, and so it might be carrying over a little bit, spilling over into these new superstars. It might be, because he they, he was the reason that, Lewis Carpenter lost the GWO championship. Exactly, and that was the start of his downfall. So uh, it, it, some, it, some might say that Superstar was the main contributor to Lewis Carpenter's fall from grace, if you will. And of course, here he comes down the ring. Serious as all. Still not wearing a shirt because when you see Lewis Carpenter not wearing his signature, you know, undershirt, you know, he business. He's trying. And this fireman coming in, helping them out. Yes. A true friend. A true serviceman. Really giving the service to his friend. Yes. And you would know too. Oh, yes. I, I obviously was the, uh, the main serviceman. The, uh, the lead. the lead of the servicemen not anymore but um, you you brought him up when he was a rookie yes exactly and the, the servicemen have since mostly disbanded obviously they they come to back together for things like this but um, as a unit there haven't really been any sort of um, gatherings lately. I had noticed this before but it looks like Lewis Carpenter grabbed his face and pulled it up yeah but like he had a mask or something but maybe he's he's trying to uh, show show the fans that he is um, he's always transparent with them and he doesn't want to hide behind any sort of um, visage or any sort of um, you know, persona. He wants to show them that this is him and, and he wants to be as truthful to the fans as possible. I can see that. That makes sense. But here we see uh, one of the superstars just down immediately and Kenneth jumping off the top rope landing on him. 
Um, but uh, superstar number 11 over here really taking it to Lewis Carpenter. Is that number 11? <laughs> you know, who knows at this point? I'll be number 10. Let's just both, let's just call them um, 10 and 11. Both. 10 and 11, okay. T 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Okay, okay I can Superstar, do that. Superstar 10 and 11 right there. Yep. <clears throat> so there we go. So uh, it looks like one of our 10 11s has a little bit more energy than the other. Um, ooh, kicking out right at the last second. That would have been a quick match. <laughs> that, the wariness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's totally not taking mm. advantage of the, of the Hell in the Cell. cell yes. Still, uh, I mean, it, it is pretty early in the match, but no one's taken advantage quite yet. So hopefully this match won't end too soon before we see anybody really taking advantage of this Cell. And it makes sense. I mean, they're trying to get to the finals. They'll do it any which way that they yes. can. Ooh, bending the rope right there. Oh, look at him. Oh, Ooh, stop, stop, drop, drop and, and roll. roll. Taking it to Superstar 1011 right there. Ooh, and then, ooh, Lewis Carpenter just walking over Superstar 1011. That grudge, that, yes. that, that feeling of hatred. He's that, still he's, got he's, it. He looks at that face and it's like, this face is no different. Yes. Even, even though this one is much younger, I know this is still the face of the man that, that took my title, picking him oh, up into a DDT. Yes. But Superstar 1011 not having any of that. Oh, and then look look at what's going on over here with Kenneth flipping that Superstar 1011 right on his back. I'm oh, really, my goodness. I'm really impressed with what Kenneth has Ooh. actually learned in his time away from the GWL. Yes, he's really honed his technique and um, really learned a lot from uh, you know, the Luchadors and the Glurbins, um, just learning all those moves from them. I just saw a DDT yes. from Superstar 1011. Mm-hmm. It was either DDT 10 or mm -hmm. DDT 11, 11, but it was a DDT. Exactly. And then look at Superstar 1011 trying to go for the pin on Kenneth, but not quite getting it. Um, I, it's amazing the energy that these superstars still have uh, left in them. Uh, they might have um, you know, eaten maybe an energy bar backstage, something like that. They have a few, uh, you know, nice energy bars that they can chew on. And that's mostly all they eat. We don't want to waste them. Uh, real food on them, so we just give them some supplements, some energy bars, make sure they have the right vitamins. Yes, of course, and uh, we'll place them into the cups that have been provided for oh, us yes. from our sponsors, uh, the the blue cups. Yeah, the the, the, you nice, remember? the nice 90s They're cups. They're like white, and, and then they, they have, have that the blue, blue thing. You know the cups? Yeah. We're sponsored by them. And they gave us, uh, they gave us a bunch of them, mm -hmm. so we're using them. It's pretty good. Yeah. Here, watch. Look, look, look. At oh, look at him sipping from the cup. You know the cup we all love. The good cup. That's yeah. That's that was fresh. It tastes fresher. <laughs> yes. When you the, drink it from this when cup. When you drink it from the cup, it tastes good. Um, as you see, as you see here, Kenneth getting Superstar 1011 into the corner, smashing him on the door nail slam. Yes. That that might be it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Absolutely destroying the superstar. Oh, and then going for the pin Hitting on the other others. superstar. Amazing. Oh, oh kicking it. out. Is he going to get the pin on this superstar? He oh, gets the pin on did. that superstar. <laughs> I know. thought it was going to be a double kick out. <laughs> yeah. The superstar has really put up a good fight there. Again, not utilizing the Hell in the Cell at all, but it was a spectacular match from these folks. Anything to get to the finals, I totally exactly. understand. And so... These servicemen will be going into the finals match against either us or the Mario Brothers. <laughs> yep, the Mario Brothers, Mamma Mia. Yeah. We could be seeing some newcomers <laughs> winning our title. Exactly, and, and quite possibly we might be able to, to see Lewis Carpenter in his prime again, um, reveling in the glory that is the Tag Team Championship. Good luck to you, Lewis Carpenter and Kenneth Fireman. We'll be right back on the GWO Rated Over Pay-Per-View. Welcome back to the GWO Rated Over Tag Team Tournament. Our final semifinal. See, yes. I'm not even questioning it now. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> final semifinal match 
between the Mario Brothers and us. Yes, of course. And so we'll see who will advance to the finals match against the servicemen. And who knows, if we if we advance, that's going to be three servicemen in the ring at that point. You guys were dominant when you guys were together, so mm-hmm. it makes sense that you'd be dominant yes. in this kind of format. Exactly. And then we also want to mention, um, not only will there be uh, this tag team tournament, this tag team finale, but afterwards, our main event... The GWO Women's Championship is going to be up for grabs. Yes, finally, a rematch between Slick Jackie yes. and Goth, Goth Grandma. Grandma. Uh, as, as you know from our first pay-per-view, Slick Jackie trying to get that championship back that she never really lost because she got injured. Um, but she got attacked by Alexa Bliss from the WWE Correct. before she could pin Goth Grandma and get the championship. So she got a little interrupted there. But this time... Hopefully, there will be no more interruptions, and we can have the nice, clean women's championship match that we deserved. And interesting that you brought up uh, that interference. Do you remember what happened in our second pay-per-view? Oh, yes. Uh, A a battle between Slick Jackie and Alexa Bliss was interrupted again by not only Stephanie McMahon, but Bayley, both from the WWE. Yes, so for our next pay-per-view, win, lose, or draw for Mm -hmm. Slick Jackie, she will be in a match, a tag team match, with Bailey. Yes, against Stephanie McMahon and Alexa Bliss. Bliss. Yes, so we're, that's going to be an interesting feud right there, um, seeing you know, which one of those teams are going to be uh, the best within that tag team match. Again, the cameraman really going wild with the, uh, the Mario Brothers entrance there. Here they are. They still have their energy. Um, if, for those of you who've been watching... Uh, you may recall that they were in a, a lengthy match against not just Twin Sanity, but mostly Crash Bandicoot himself, taking them both on, wearing them out. So uh, we'll see a little bit of um, you know energy lost from the Mario Brothers, and we'll see how that affects them in this match too. Yes. Because you know we might go in there and they might already be down. Exactly, we they might, might just, just fall down. They might like, be so exhausted. <laughs> Oh, that was interesting what Mario's arm did there a little bit. Kind of bent backwards. Must be, you know, double jointed. He definitely. Yeah. I mean, I'm double jointed in my elbows. Mm-hmm. Interesting fact. Yes. Me. As you can see, they, their face is red with the the rash of the, the ring the rubbing against the mat, smacking from Crash Bandicoot. And as you can see up there, Steel Cage. This is going to be a Steel Cage match. Now, this one, we will have to use. Yes. The actual structure. To actually win. To actually leave. We have to leave the steel cage. Both feet must touch the floor. And so th- th- this is an interesting match as well because um, it is not reliant on pinning your opponent. It is, it is reliant on who can get out of the ring the fastest. So um, maybe the Mario Brothers will have an advantage in this if they are, you know, they are plumbers. They are good with um, hardware and tools. They might be able to do the steel cage, no problem. They might be able to uh, go into some plumbing and then just <laughs> yes, pop, out of pop the right out. Uh, as you can see, us coming in, we still got our energy from our last match. We are ready to go, rejuvenated. We, we took a nice nap backstage in between our matches. It was great. Look at that. Nice coordination there from us. Perfect. I will say, whoever wins this match will be at a disadvantage for the final. Oh, yes, because they we're gonna start go. right away. Yes, because because the servicemen are getting a little bit of a, a reprieve by uh, resting during this match. But yes, whoever wins this match will just go immediately into the finals match. Yes, and of course, you know we will have them leave the ring. Whoever wins. Yes, so they can so enter they can again. Enter again. Oh, we need those entrances. Yes, it, it gives it gets it's ad money. Yes. Right ooh, ooh. Mario Brothers doing us dirty right away. Actually, I'm taking care of yes, Mario. Yes, you are taking care of Mario right there. Ooh, Maybe right it's the, the green. I Look think at it's Luigi. the green. Yeah, it's the green taken, taken against the red. That is interesting dynamic here with uh, one of us being the red, one of us being the green. Uh, it's almost like Christmas. Yeah. Christmas 1995. Oh, a nice lumbar check from me. Oh, yes. Absolutely breaking that back. And here we go. And then I, I, oh, I, I thought I was going for a pin, but yeah. apparently I'm going You're just for, going for an arm bar there. An arm bar mixed with a, 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 like a leg bar? Yeah. 
And I, I've gotten the advantage back from Luigi over there, really taking it to him, slamming him onto the mat right there. Ooh, but then he, he takes it from me, slams me into the mat. And you, you still have the advantage here against just Mario. Absolutely yeah. destroying Mario. Which you'd think that Luigi would have the. Oh, oh goodness! Wow. That was amazing. I pulled him straight from from you, the air. You know we can't be using our powers like that. <laughs> I, I use oh look at you trying to get out of the ring Mario well, slamming back I wanted back to down. save my energy. Yes. Maybe we could take both of them out, and then we could both. Yes, win. that but, could be good. I mean, we'll see if we get that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Ooh. A lot of slamming, uh, really trying to flatten your opponent out make sure they have no energy to get back up so you have that opportunity to escape the steel cage. Look at you picking him up on your shoulder, slamming him into the turnbuckle there on his face. Uh, and as we know from the, the previous match with the Mario Brothers, um, Chris Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot has been hitting their heads, slamming them into the ring, stomping on them. A lot of attacks on the the shoulders on the head, so we really want to focus on the upper body in this situation. Ooh, that Ooh, was I, I just overshot it. Ankle. Yeah, overshot it a little bit, but you still got him. Ooh. Nice super kick. But this might be the end. We can leave. Yeah, we could. We got Luigi on on the on the mat, but picking him back up um, might might have been a little bit of a mistake there, but uh, who knows? We have we have a strategy. Ooh, breaking the back of Mario Mario. Look at me, getting ready. Ooh, discus punch right there. Just, you can leave now. Yes, I, I can stop, um, but you are right there. All you just gotta do is drop down. Oh Look my gosh, it's a two down. on one though for yes. you. So, could, so I, this is dangerous it. here, because I still need to, I still need to leap as well. So very dangerous, and Luigi slamming me swinging me around Ooh, oh both brothers doing the same time <laughs> yeah truly coordinated a true tag team yes true brothers right there uh, that was interesting a hold going and then he just let go and punched me in the back of the head he, he's kind of a dick bag yeah a little he, bit he is oh grabbing oh, oh. oh. <laughs> grabbing your nuts grabbing it me seems right to be there in signature. the crotch i don't know and it tired him yes he's tired now <laughs> He's tired from grabbing me in the, in the crotch. It really wears, uh, really wears a person out, honestly. Mm, stomping on me. The, these brothers are disrespectful. Look at you just looking on. From, from I the, wish I could help. I wish I could, but I can't. Got out too soon. I should have gotten out when you did. Ooh, but reversing that, flipping him on his face. Get out. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> too many of them. Ooh, whipping me over into the corner there. Luigi and Mario both teaming up on me, taking me out. Ooh, what's happening here? Ooh, Busting your muscles right yes. there. Luigi's about Luigi to get out. Luigi glaring at you. He's coming for you. But let's see if I can stop him. I think I might be able to grab him. Technically, you could just leave while I could. Mario's down. Yeah. There. Grabbed him, pulled him off of the steel cage. And I could just leave now, too, but uh, instead I'm going to just grab Luigi really quick. Oh, both working. Ooh. Brothers Ooh. working together. Ooh, this is no good for me. This is not a good situation for me. I <laughs> wish I would do something. <laughs> you got out so soon. And look at me going to take Mario off of that steel cage. Let's see if I can get there in time. And I believe I can. See, what's interesting is I fall with them, which I don't need to do. I could just kind of pry them off of the steel cage and continue to climb. And I could climb right now, which is what I'm doing. Let's see if Luigi can get to me in time. Hopefully not, but we, he, he does have those long legs and that high jump. Pulling me, prying me off of that steel cage. Glaring at the audience. Oh no, both brothers leave it. This, this is, is not a good situation. Oh, this is not a good situation. Let's see if I can get Luigi in time. No! No! <laughs> I refuse! Oh, no, you're just standing there! What am I doing? My earthly avatar has given up on me. The Mario a, Brothers. A sad day in the GWO. I pray that the service men will win. Yes. The Mario Brothers advance to the finals match 
of the tag team tournament against the servicemen. We will see which team prevails. This is, this will be an interesting match, I believe. Yeah. I'll see you back here. The rated over. That's a good time, I guess. GWO yeah. Tag Team Tournament. Rated over. Here we have Servicemen up against the Mario Brothers. Yeah. Definitely uh, pulling for the Servicemen. <laughs> yes. The Cinderella story. Lewis Carpenter really needs this win. And mm -hmm. the return of, of course, our fireman, yeah. our local fireman, our Kenneth. favorite fireman. Yes. Is is great. I, I, I love both of them, and I, I wish them the best. Mm -hmm. uh, now, they're going up against Mario Brothers, who just grab dick all yeah. day. It, you, you know, it, they really they wore me out there, and I, I was overloaded, overwhelmed by the options of uh, who should I go for? Should I go for Mario? Should I go for Luigi? And it, it, I think it, it might have um, overwhelmed me a little bit, and it allowed them that split second to escape from the ring and... Um, you know, it's it's a shame, but I really hope that Lewis Carpenter and Kenneth really pull this one out. Well, of course, we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Yes, and uh, you know, as commentators, we should stay unbiased in this situation. But yes. so of course, good luck to the, the Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Um, and then do, do not forget to stick around after this finals match for our main event, the women's championship match against Slick Jackie and Goth Grandma. That, I'm, I'm actually, I'm greatly yes. excited for that. that it, no matter how disappointed you might be with the Mario Brothers advancing, you, you know you can get excited for Goth Grandma versus Slick Jackie. I know I will. Yes. And then Goth Grandma, interestingly... Uh, since we are back in 1995, uh, she she has a, a youthful pep in her step, because she remembers these times very fondly when she was um, what, around 70? yeah 60, 70. Yeah. Already a grandma by that point. Yes. So here they are, the servicemen coming into the ring. They had a little chance to rest while we were uh, in our match against the Mario Brothers. So Mario Brothers is going to be coming in here straight from that match, but these men have had time to go backstage have a, a few grapes, possibly a, a nice uh, spritzer, a nice uh, seltzer backstage, something like that. They've had time to refresh. I, I heard that they were into mushrooms. I don't yes. know if I like them. Yeah. We got the clean men over here. <laughs> and then we got... Grabbing the dick, jumping, stomping, eating mushrooms. rowdy boys. Uh, but these servicemen, I think they're going to show the Mario Brothers uh, what's what. Because these guys, they're respectful. They serve the people. Uh, they, they work for the people. And the Mario Brothers... Uh, Look at that reflective. Yes. How could you hate them? Exactly. And the Mario Brothers, they're just you know, freelancing plumbers. They, they go into your plumbing. They mess around with it. Maybe they break a little bit so they have to come back later. Yeah, and charge you. Exactly. Charge you lots. So the, these servicemen... They, they are respectful people. They want you to know that they're here for you and the Mario Brothers. They're here for just themselves. And this will be a straightforward tag oh, yes. team match. See, all, all of our other tag team matches in this tournament have been have had stipulations, different um, rule sets, different cages. But yes, this one will just be pure technique straightforward tag team match after you know having already two matches in the night for both teams yes. they will need to just have that time mm -hmm. to, to rest up to be on the sideline to be a true tag team because the tag team championships are hard for exactly. Yeah, exactly so you know we can't expect them to always have the stipulation match that they need to be a good team yeah and, and even uh, this whole tournament, we've had stipulations and different rule sets, but we want to make sure that this finals match uh, truly determines the best of the best when it comes to a tag team. So that's why we're going strict, straight tag team rules to really show which of these teams 
is, you know, the best tag team. Obviously, the Mario Brothers are quick to get out of a steel cage. But are they a good tag team versus the service men? Then are they well enough? Exactly. Are, are, do they have the energy and the strength to beat the servicemen? The servicemen, they have they, they have the energy from fighting fires and building homes. And these men, they just get under a sink and they, you know, move around and they just use a wrench. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they also use uh, the other wrenches. Oh, yeah, the bigger wrench? Yeah. Uh, maybe a Allen wrench? Uh, those little snakes. Oh yeah. Um, Maybe pour a little Drano in there. Yeah. <laughs> Drano that you can just get from the store too. <laughs> yeah. No special one. Mm -hmm. But there but it this is. This is it. The for belts. the titles. Yes. Jeffrey showing off those belts. He looks a little more aged. Yes. Well, he he has he, he's gotten a little beaten up in this tournament as well. Thrown around. Uh, just some, run into. Yeah. Him. Bodies thrown into him. But as you see, Lewis Carpenter taking Mario down. He's not... Ooh, ooh, Mario reversing it on him. This is going to be a dirty match. Oh, it, it always is with the Mario Brothers. Now, since this is a straight match, this, there's DQs. I don't know how much... You know, ooh, dick grabbing. dick grabbing, yeah. That might not be allowed in Jeffrey's eyes. So we'll see if the Mario Brothers try and pull any of those tricks. That's such an interesting move that Mario has. I don't really understand what, what he's accomplishing there. Oh, but ooh, 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 flying elbow right onto the back of Lewis Carpenter. Nice springboard. Yes. You know, you don't see a man of his size usually doing exactly. that. Exactly. Tagging in his brother Luigi. Um, Luigi coming in to stomp on that back again. Oh, pushing Running Jeffrey around. around. Disrespectful to our referee, Jeffrey. Look, and Jeffrey was yelling at him. Yes. Ooh, slamming the butt down right on... Lewis Carpenter's chest there. Ooh. Oh, stopping him dead in his tracks. Not going to take it this day. No. He's not going to let a plumber take his title away from him. Lewis his opportunity. Exactly. He's had all of his opportunities stripped away from him. This is, this is the one opportunity he's not going to let slip out of his grasp. Oh, oh. grabbing the dick. Jeffrey, Jeffrey not doing anything about it. That shouldn't be allowed, Jeffrey. <laughs> I guess Jeffrey thinks grabbing the dick's allowed. Well, he's been through so many matches with so many stipulations. <laughs> he's, he's delirious. <laughs> he's delirious. And he's also been whipped a little bit. Yeah. So he might not remember all of the tag team rules necessarily, but kicking Luigi straight in the face right there. He's, again, not letting anyone take away this opportunity from him. Mario trying to get that tag, but Luigi is too stunned to tag in his brother. Ooh, ooh, whipping him back into that corner. Is he going to go for the tag oh, absolutely. with Kenneth here? Yes, he is. That's teamwork, my friends. That's the servicemen promise. Ooh, ooh! Splashing right on Luigi from the top rope. Ooh, oh! But tagging in his brother right now. And then well Kenneth... Uh, getting out of the ring a little bit. Just, uh, I guess, to throw off the momentum, the yes. tempo. Mario, did you throw him off it a might, little bit, confusing. It might have worked. It worked. Yes. He was able to throw off the tempo mm -hmm. so that Mario wouldn't be able to just run in. Mm -hmm. Because as a fireman, you always have to be cognizant of any um, complications that may come up within any sort of situation. So he's always aware of what's happening, always prepared for the tempo to switch up. Did you see that punch? Yes. That punch that he does breaks bricks where he comes from. <laughs> yes. Devastating punch. Ooh, 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 sneaking up on him, just like Crash Bandicoot did earlier in this competition to Luigi and slamming his head into the ground. Is he, a, is, is he an adapter? Does he take people's he He, like, he might. Moves? Yeah, I believe so, because they, they've also stolen that, that other move from Dr. Neo Cortex where they swing them around from the neck. So I think I think these boys, I don't even I don't think they're wrestlers in their own right. They're just sapping moves from our other Look, great there wrestlers. It is. There it is again. Yes, just taking everyone's moves and using it against them, the uh, ultimate form of disrespect. I'm tagging in his brother Luigi here. Oh, oh they're gonna go for it. Toadstool stomp. Ooh, slamming those shoulders into the mat. And going for the pin here. Lewis Carpenter 
not doing anything about it, but he knows Kenneth's going to kick out. That's great. I'm glad that Kenneth was able to do that for him. And I'm glad Lewis Carpenter has the, the trust within his partner to allow him to kick out. And then Kenneth not taking any of any of the guff from Luigi. He's giving it right back to him. Stop, Ooh. drop, and roll. Ooh, right under the chest. Giving it back straight to the chest. Whipping him into that corner. Tagging in Lewis Carpenter. Ooh, Ooh into a power <laughs> slam. Amazing work from the, the servicemen right there. And the Ooh, Mario, Mario knocking, knocking out Jeffrey. Jeffrey. This is this is this is the Wild West at this point. What is Lewis Carpenter doing? Oh, picking him up and dropping him down. This is madness. This is chaos. I don't even know what's going on right yes. now. What's Jeffrey gonna do to to rein in? Does Jeffrey even know who's legal at this point? Well, I guess he does now. <laughs> Got him on the Dornail shoulder. Doornail slam. Doornail slam right there. That's it. It's over. It's got to be. Pinning him, dragging him into the center of the ring. That way he can't a rope break or anything. He wants this to be a clean pin. But Mario's no, Mario comes in. That's great tag team work exactly. right there. Exactly. Trying to help your, your fellow tag team partner by coming in when they need help. Now, regardless of what Jeffrey says. The excitement. Yeah, getting pumped Ooh. up. Did you see that? Yes. Just kind of smacked him down with his foot. Disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Disrespectful. Ooh, double clothesline right there. Lewis Carpenter going for another clothesline, but kicking him in the chest. And then Mario uh, kind of resting back there. I don't recall him getting hurt yeah, very he, much. Yeah, he got smacked by uh, oh, yes. Lewis Carpenter. Mm, uppercut from Luigi. Dirty tactics from that the Mario European brothers. uppercut, specifically yes. I think from Italy. Oh yeah, which I course. believe their ancestors from. I yes. don't know if they're from Italy because they say they're from New York, mm -hmm. but uh, but big uh, Italian population in New York City, or at least um, in this dimension there is. I'm not sure from their dimension and maybe your dimension too. Exactly. Ooh, and this sees Mario wanting that tag right there and tagging Getting Mario it. in. Yeah see what Mario can bring to the table in fighting against Lewis Carpenter. But <laughs> absolutely nothing. <laughs> exactly. Lewis Carpenter, he's got that newfound energy. He's going to really take it to Mario right here. Ooh, ooh. Not getting, not getting that three count. Reversing that and slamming him into the mat. Lewis Carpenter, he, he knows the dirty tactics of these Mario Brothers, and he doesn't want any of it. He's a good man, and he wants a good, clean fight. He will win this yes, by any means necessary, as long as it's clean. Yes, of course. He, he, wants, this, he wants to win this respectfully and as, as, as clean as he can because he's a good boy, and he wants to show the fans that he stays true to himself. Nice sunset flip beautiful getting Mario on his back there you see Lewis Carpenter looking a little defeated and and you know it's tired back there uh, do you think that he thinks they can make it through this match well it's absolutely grueling for them mm -hmm. oh and look at that Mario going at it against Kenneth right there punching him straight in the face uh, Lewis Carpenter might be losing a little hope in this match but um, Kenneth once again that's the second time yes. he's taken that shot to the chin I don't know what else could happen to him, but yes. definitely his jaw's broken. Mm -hmm. When the tagging Luigi in here, are they going to go for another toadstool slam? Oh, no, no they're, they're going to break his leg. Oh, my goodness. Ruthless. These guys. This, this shine coming away from Lewis Carpenter's eyes back there in that corner, just staring at Kenneth fighting against the Mario Brothers. He's not sure if they can take this one. He's not sure if, if uh, he's going to take this tag team tournament. I can understand that. He's doubting himself. Mm -hmm. And I would be in that same situation if I've, you know, been on this, not losing streak, but mm -hmm. just this downward spiral. Yes, of course. A, a real a downhill coaster from losing the Galactic Championship to losing the Hardcore Championship and then quite possibly 
even losing his chance at the tag team championship, what more is there to go for at this point? You know, uh, the hope is slowly draining away from Lewis Carpenter. He doesn't know if he if he can pull this one out, but it looks like Kenneth has the strength and has the energy. Um, he might be able to help out Lewis Carpenter in this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh! And Jeff, he's not the legal man. Yeah, no, he's he not the legal involved. man. Oh no! And then here we go, Luigi. Stealing that move from Crash Bandicoot as well, slamming Kenneth's head into the mat. That's actually from Cortex. Oh, correct, yeah, from Cortex. Look at this. Ooh. Slowly but surely making sure that they really... Ooh, oh, giving it to that leg. Mm. That's the same leg it that is, they try to break. Yeah, it's the same leg. Pinpointing the pain on this man. Or are they going to go for the tag here? They are, but it looks like Lewis Carpenter is trying to get into the ring. Maybe. Oh, he... this is his mistake, though. Oh, oh the Toadstool Slam! Is that it for Kenneth? Is that it? Lewis Carpenter, break it up. Oh! 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 Luigi! Break it up. Luigi saw it with his eagle vision. He knew Lewis Carpenter was coming for that, so he had to stop it. But. Still broke up the pin anyway. They, they were too close to the uh, corner. Yes. Ooh, kick right to the back, and Luigi oh, looks like he was going to go for something, but he's not anymore. Uh, it looks like Jeffrey yelled at him too much. <laughs> well, Jeffrey actually doing his job. Yes, this is a traditional tag match, so there are disqualifications, so Jeffrey does have to you know, yell at people if they're in the ring for too long, when they're not supposed to be. Ooh, right on the chest there. That's that high-flying athleticism that only a fireman has. And they are, they, they, they've been worn and torn, the servicemen, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I, I think I think they've got this in the bag at this yes. point. I think the, the crowd is pumping up Lewis Carpenter, giving him that hope again, showing him that they love him and they respect him and they want him to win this match. Truly, the energy of this crowd is phenomenal. Yes. It might be that this place is very echoey because it is a gymnasium. Yes. But it's amazing that we could pack so much energy and so much um, you know, crowd engagement into this small um, gymnasium, this high school gymnasium. Here he goes. Oh. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Oh, reversing it on him into the corner. That strength, that speed. Mm -hmm. He's, he's a surprising man. Ooh. And someone I respect. Yes. I just don't like him. Yeah. Whipping him into the corner. Just really doing all the dirty tactics again. Kicking him right in the thighs and breaking him down to a shell of a man. Mario backing away. Interesting. He's going to... Oh! Ooh, he kicked him bleed. right in the face. Breaking skin on Lewis Carpenter, going for the pin. Is he going to get it? Oh, oh, kicking out right at the last second. Lewis Carpenter is not giving up this one. I was scared. This, this is, this is, this has so many stakes. It's yes. almost as, as frightful <laughs> as when we almost lost the GWO. It's got so many stakes. You could call this a butcher shop. <laughs> Maybe you should be the top three. <laughs> oh. Look at Luigi trying to stomp there, but Lewis Carpenter just wiggling his way out. Lewis Carpenter, blood in his eyes and blood on his mind. Because he needs this tag team belt. Ooh, teamwork right there. Ooh! Ooh his own power. Yes. And going for the pin here. Can he get it? Yes, they did it! Yes, the the servicemen service have done it! Pulled it out! The Cinderella story of the tournament! Amazing! Taking down the the Mario Brothers just by a small margin. We knew they could do it, and who knows? Maybe this could be the resurgency of the servicemen. Maybe we could bring them all back together, and this could really revitalize um, the team. Well, uh, Kenneth's sister is back as oh, well. Oh, yes, exactly. Fire Fiend Finley's back. She's wrestling. We got them all. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll come back into the fold. We'll see. Now that now that they've got the belts, you never know. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, well, here they are. 
eventually. Your new tag team, GWO tag team champions, the service men. Truly, a, they, they truly deserve it. They've gone through a lot in this tournament. Um, a lot of blowing defeats and a lot of great wins. And they really pulled it out this time. It was a close match, but congratulations, service men. And we'll be right back with our main event for the Rated Over Pay-Per-View, the match for the GWO Women's, Women's Championship. Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our main event here at Rated Over GWO. Slick Jackie versus Goth Grandma for the GWO Women's Championship. Yes, this is the redemption match that we've been waiting for ever since the flashback pay-per-view a few months before, um, where we had this exact same match set up. However... Alexa Bliss from the WWE came in and interrupted the match and attacked Slick Jackie, so didn't give her the chance to win this women's championship back. Yes, and and so technically, she she did win. Yes, but she didn't win the championship. Right. It's it was a win via disqualification. Mm -hmm. Goth Grandma, we of course gave her the time to rest up. Yes. From for the last pay per view, she is elderly. She needs. Uh, more time to rest than some of these young kids like Slick Jackie. But of course, being the matron saint of wrestling, mm -hmm. um, she deserves all the respect. So, of course, she's just getting a straight rematch to Slick Jackie. Yes. Truly a woman of respect. Mm -hmm. And we wish her the best of luck in the future. Exactly. And so, um, for a little bit of background on. Uh, the, the kind of the history between Slick Jackie and Goth Grandma. Slick Jackie was the GWO Women's Champion um, a, a, over a, a year ago, I believe, when she had a, a severe injury in the ring and had to be um, killed. Yeah, yeah, put on temporary leave for uh, many months, and she, uh, so long, in fact, that she had to relinquish her title over to the successor, which ended up being Goth Grandma. Yes, and of course, Goth Grandma won that during a tournament. Just yes. Most, just like we saw today. Exactly, yeah. A kind of quarterfinal, semifinal, final tournament for the GWO Women's Championship. Um, but Goth Grandma, of course, has had the title many, many times in the past. So oh, many times. So many times. Yes, and, but um, th th this match is set up because Slick Jackie wants to get the title back that she never lost. And Goth Grandma wants to retain the title that, you know, d if legacy serves, has always been hers. Yeah. For years. Yes. Years worth. Since the, the 60s. There's children who are not as old as her title. Her yes. cumulative. Mm -hmm. And she has, uh, of course, as we mentioned, she has uh, children who wrestle in the GWO. She has grandchildren that wrestle in the GWO. Of course. Of course Yes, what were you gonna say? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say she used to be um, just gothic girl, then goth mom, and now she is goth grandma. So really, she we we not only see her evolve um, in technique and in um, you know, seniority, but we've seen her evolve just in life within the GW. Well, I was gonna say that her grandson won the GWO Tag Team Championship tonight. Exactly, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Our fireman, mm -hmm. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Our, our boy Kenneth, one of the grandsons of the goth grandma. And by extension, Finley. Exactly, yes. So we have some uh, we have some legacy people already tonight been in the ring. There it is. The GWO Women's Championship belt up on the line tonight. Now, hopefully, we've had a lot of um, run-ins in the matches that Slick Jackie's been in recently. Hopefully none this night. Hopefully she just gets a good, clean, straight match. No. Oh, intensity. Angry. She she's been she's been wrong so many times in the past few months. She's just ready to take that championship uh, because it's rightfully hers. And grandma. 
mm-hmm. stoic. Her, yes. her her look is just completely like Un- I don't fear you. Yeah, unfazed mm-hmm. by Slick Jackie. I've been bitten in the face. <laughs> Yes. By my opponent. It noses broken multiple times. Arms broken. Multiple know? times. Multiple <laughs> times. So she has no fear. There's no such thing as fear for yes. us. And Slick Jackie trying it, to stare her down and give her fear. It might have come from one of the injuries she had. I think it might have taken away her ability to fear. Ex- yeah, exactly. That, that might have been. Response. Um, I think it would believe 1986. She had a concussion that might have knocked out the fear out of her head. Here we go. A power and a curse. Mm-hmm. Ooh, slamming Slick Jackie's head into the mat. Maybe trying to instill some fear into her head by giving her a concussion. Ooh! Goth Grandma had a lot of time to rest up. She's not holding anything back in this match. Mm-hmm. And I would say that she's putting on a clinic. I mean, she's always yes. been just excellent when it comes to the ring. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she's had so many decades to hone her technique. She really knows how to go around this ring. She knows the every inch of the ring. <laughs> she used to be wrestle when we didn't even use these kind of ropes. Oh, yes. It was just it was it chains. Was, it was literal ropes. Yeah, like ropes and chains. Like ropes that don't bend at all, <laughs> like that you would Tight. use on a ship. Yeah, you get a little rope burn, you rub your opponent all over it. Yeah. They get a little bit of that burn. It never felt good. Yes. Yeah, she's been wrestling, you know, since since the 60s, even before the GWO was uh, an official organization, she's wrestled with with many different promotions over the years and really developed her style and developed her, her repertoire, her move repertoire um, from all those experiences she's had. But as you can see, nothing ever beats a good smashing their head into the mat. That's always that's always a good option. Ooh, kick to the stomach right there by Slick Jackie. And then going to put Goth Grandma right onto the mat. Oh, oh Ooh, no, slam her. That was interesting. Yeah. I thought she was going to powerbomb her. That, I, I did as well, but no, she tossed her straight into the turnbuckle right there. Slick Jackie going up to the top rope Doing, once again. Yeah, high flyer. She's showing some of that uh, Dolphins, that Miami Dolphins cheerleader uh, versatility. Oh, oh, my goodness. It looks like we might not have given Goth Grandma enough rest because she's wiped out. Slick Jackie takes the championship quickly and swiftly from Goth Grandma. And honestly, it's a it's a result that should have come about two months earlier. Exactly. So it, it might have seemed like a short match, but really, it's a long time coming. Congratulations, Slick Jackie. Yes. You are the winner. You are the new GWO Women's Championship. It, <laughs> Women's Champion. Yes. You get the championship. <laughs> she is the championship as well. Um, but it's back home where it belongs. And uh, I, I, I think, you know, Slick Jackie's been back for a few months, but I think she really feels like she's back at home. Well, thank you for watching. Yes. This is GWO Rated Over Pay-Per-View. Thank you once again to Burbank High School. And, of course, those cups that you used to drink from back in the 90s. I, I love those cups. Cup. Yeah, it, 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 it forgot the name, but love the cups. Please drink from the cups. They're good. Mm-hmm. And uh, please join us next month where we uh, we hop on over to a new planet. Or not a new planet. We've been there before. But um, please join us for our next pay-per-view, the Gormat at Glormat. You're gonna wanna. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Slick Jackie's gonna be there. Our tag team champions are gonna be there. It's gonna be one spectacular show. And that's it. It's Guo time.